So if you're following along on the 2017-18 Snowbird Trip playlist, um, we left Cibola National Wildlife Refuge on January 11th and made our way up towards Blythe here. Um, we stopped off to dump our tanks and grab extra water and propane at this Cove RV resort. Um, it was an easy in and out off of Interstate 10. They were really nice there. Um, we got propane. I think the dumping the tanks and fresh water was about 10 bucks, so that was a pretty good deal. And then we hooked on to Interstate 10 and headed towards Arizona. So it was a little bit of a grade up here into this uh, pass here, and then down into Quartzsite, the famous Quartzsite. So already in uh, mid-January there, there was tons of RVs everywhere. The big show happens around third week of uh, January. Um, we were going to skip it this year. We've been there a few years, so um, sort of sort of the same there. Been there, done that. But uh, a lot of people, that's one of the big uh, highlights of their snowbird trip. But we continued on 10 to check out a new-to-us BLM site called Saddle Mountain. And it was about 70 miles from Quartzsite. You know, through the desert here. Do do. And right about here is Saddle Mountain. So the best way to get to Saddle Mountain is to go past a little rest stop here down to Tonopah and you'll find an exit right at the Saddle Mountain RV Park. Forget this road, I think it's 411, something like that. Anyway, you take that exit and go down to West Siloam Highway and back on West Siloam Highway until you find Ranch House or Courthouse Road. I think that's what it is. Yeah, right here, West Courthouse Road. Follow that along, and then you'll start to see a bunch of roads into the dispersed camping area. Now, you'll have to check out here. Some of them have quite a bit of dip here, and some larger rigs won't be suitable to go through some of them, but uh, we found one that was pretty good went in there and you can see Saddle Mountain BLM dispersed camping so you can stay here for 14 days for free and you're right in front of these beautiful mountains right there so let's get to the video hey folks Ray from loveyourrv.com so we've arrived at a new to us BLM dry camping spot free for 14 days <clears throat> it's near Tonopah, Arizona, and it's called Saddle Mountain. I've been recommended this spot by numerous people, told us how pretty it was, and they're sure right. You're uh, right up against these really cool looking uh, hills, sort of, I guess that big one is Saddle Mountain up there. Uh, from the freeway, which is about 10 miles away, it does kind of resemble a saddle. Beagle. There's your bone. So, maybe I'll give you a better look at it. I'll go up um, sort of a ridge here. So I'll hike up maybe to that little knoll up there. Get some uh, height so I can sort of show you the layout of the, of the land. It's all pretty easy to access and, and quite flat. Lots of level level ground. And the rigs are quite spread out. So... Quite a nice place that way. So I've hiked up on a ridge to kind of give you an overview of this uh, Saddle Mountain BLM area. There we are down there. Let's zoom out here and you can see there is a lot of space here. And not too many rigs, everybody's really spread out. So you have lots of peace and quiet, a long way from everybody else. Although there is some space if you wanted to get together as a group. Let's zoom around here more towards the, the hillside. It looks like as you get closer, things get a little more on level. And you might need a smaller rig to get up into there. Lots of good hiking here. It's kind of fun to hike up, get a view. It's really a series of uh, roads in 
separated by washes. You can see down here there's a this green here that's a fairly deep wash. And you can see the road along here. And you can see over where we came in there's another road that leads out to the main highway. If you look down there you can see a, a car going along. It should be coming through pretty soon. If you can see it. There it is. Right there. So that road leads out a couple miles to another road. Follow that road a bit, sort of on the other side of these little hills over there. You join up another road and that gets you out to the main freeway, which is Interstate 10, going along those mountains there. And I'll zoom in and you'll be able to see the, the truck traffic over there. There we are. So you don't really hear the interstate from here. It's a little too far away. You just sort of see the twinkling lights at night, but uh, nice mountain range there. Over to the west here you have quite a bit of farming going on. We have smelled a little bit of uh, cow manure if the wind is blowing right. And to the east, going this way, about 20 minutes down the interstate is Buckeye, Arizona, which is like a really outskirts, outskirts of Phoenix. So there's a Walmart there, Home Depot, Lowe's, all that kind of stuff is there. So you're not really super far away from everything, but it is a pretty little spot. I haven't even hiked up to the top of this thing yet. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe another day, I just wanted to give you a little overview of this place. Fair amount of vegetation and greenery here and there. There's some saguaro cactuses that are really pretty. So there you go. Saddle Mountain BLM. Free camping 14 days. Here's a little bit lower view of the rigs. Like I said, there's several roads in. Must be a half dozen. It's just uh, some of them, the entrance is fairly flat. Other ones have quite the, the dip going in. So you just have to pick and choose based on your size. But you can see there, near us is a big uh, Class A. So uh, pretty well any size rig can get in here. I've seen big uh, school buses in here already. All kinds of fifth wheels. So. You just have to sort of scout it out to pick which entrance you want to go. Once you sort of get past the, off the main road, all the, the little roads seem to be pretty good. Not much washboard or anything or potholes. Pretty good, uh, pretty good solid road. Give you a little closer look at the road here. You can see it's uh, it's quite hard. Maybe a little bit of clay to it. A very firm, and lots of little places to uh, pull out, camp, or turn around all the way along it. There we go. Back in camp after a nice little hike, soaking up the last bit of rays, getting ready for a barbecue. It's almost happy hour. <sighs> Gorgeous. I think we might be in for a nice sunset tonight. It's just a nice little bit of clouds on the horizon. So we'll see how it goes. I'll post a picture on here if it's good. If not, it wasn't good. One thing that's really cool here is you can hike around and do a bit of rock hounding. There's some really neat little rocks 
in this area. I think one's called a desert rose and another's called a fire geode. I guess this is old volcanic rock and in between the layers there was this kind of a quartz like sub substance. So you find all sorts of little kind of gemstony rocks all over the place. Forget the technical name for it, I'll throw it up in text on the screen. But here's just a few I found just poking around here. This is quite a large, large one here. Another one here. Sometimes I guess they can be a bit pinky. Um, and they can, the, the shape they form in can kind of look like a rose. And then there's little, I think this might be a fire ge geode. So a lot of times people find these and then they, they fix them up into jewelry and stuff like that. Kind of cool, you can see all the different uh, ones I found just in this little area. They're just stirring all over the flo the desert floor here. You can find them all over the place. Just need a sharp eye. This place is a pretty good uh, area right here. They're just all over the place. Just out uh, for a sunset hike just to the west of where we are. Back over there you can see the rig. Thought this big saguaro cactus was kind of cool just standing out on its own there. They say to, before they get one arm, they're almost 100 years old. So that thing could be like 150, 200 years old. A little cloudy today, a little bit of wind. But it could make for a good sunset. I'll continue hiking and exploring on this area. See if I can find a really pretty rock for Anne. <laughs> like a pretty sky tonight. So back for my little sunset stroll through the desert. Just relaxing with a cold beverage. Beagle's got a good pig's ear going there. Let's sit here and watch the, the sunset. Anne's off somewhere uh, doing some photography. But I hope you enjoyed that look at uh, Saddle Mountain BLM. It's our first time here and we're pretty impressed. I have another one to add to the favorites. We're going to be heading out in a day or so. Probably stop in at a cheap RV park. Do some laundry. Dump the tanks. And then we're heading to a super gorgeous state park near Phoenix. So I hope you're enjoying this uh, look at my snowbird adventures. Just follow the playlist. Snowbird trips. 2017-18. Till next time, cheers from the Arizona desert.